Hello everybody, welcome back to another exhibition match. This time with um, two veterans coming into the exhibition series of uh, 2023. We've got ADB versus Castor here. I'm doing a solo commentary again and um, there's a bit of a special rule for this. We, the maps have been drawn like five minutes or ten minutes ago. So no preparation was done beforehand. Um, they just had some time to do their lineups. And uh, yeah, so you can see ADB. Uh, we're going to picks in space. ADB going with a Grenadier here. No uh, medic for the uh, MoMA. And uh, let me just focus this window. Yes. And Custard going all out on the first map. Medic, Grenadier, which could be good. Uh, depending on where the uh, medic of ADB spawns or whatever the outcome may be. But yeah, let's see how it will go down. Um, this is a best of five match as well, so we're gonna have a very big amount of gameplay. Right. So let's see who goes first. Castor. So he has the first turn advantage. He also has the um, strongest, stronger lineup, which means he could net this victory pretty easily, pretty safe. Uh, there's the grenade on top, so no blocking there. And he decides to go for a close body block, which, to be fair, is not that bad. Kind of nets you the. Um, a, so to say, a longer um, use of the medic. Unless ADB decides to say screw it and go for it, but the granny is right here, so uh, yeah. Going for him and now this is a very crucial move. Don't want to screw this one up. Power looks good. And the input looks good as well. Did he actually hurt himself there? Almost sounded like it. But anyway, it couldn't have been much, and the Grenadier is just going... Oh, well, there's a scout on the left, but he can't reach that pod as well. So he's just gonna repay the favor here. Uh, pretty good. Pretty good damage. Overall, must be a 90... Uh, sorry, a uh, 80. So, both Grenadiers set up for a simple 40 damage kill. Which basically every pick can do. Now oh, ADB getting closer to the item with the sapper, possibly trying to go for the medic. No, actually goes for the power. Okay. Long. Oh yeah. <laughs> well, that's wonky hitboxes plus being left-handed does to you. In retrospect, it might seem like that's an easy thing to call, but um, yeah, in game you might not just not think of that. And uh, Castor now deeply making ADB regret that. Oh, did we have a bit of a late release there? Bit of a delay, maybe. Guys are continuing. No. Uh, Checks and um, no rewinds. Gets the 30 plus a bit of self damage. So overall, still, Caster should be in the lead here. And those are two jetpacks for a kill. But actually, he wants to get him to a poison kill range with a 15, 20. No, he's down to 17, right? Yeah. And. Makes it so that he's uh, elig eligible for a future turn skip. So, not really sure. Ooh, that could be a self hit. Let's see. It is, plus some extra water damage as well. Ed just did more damage on himself uh, than on the, uh, on the other pick from Castor. So... While the Kazura is gaining some, some leadway here, um, ADB's kind of not pulling his best punches. And 
Custer very smart to uh, do two jab jumps here. Not even making that poison skip uh, possible. Could have also gone for a heal in the future turn with this uh, medic, but decides to end it just now to get it out of the way first. And also kind of denies a double poison since there's nobody else there, unless that space station explodes. Which it doesn't. So far, Caster has been uh, very good in this comeback. You can also see it on the health bar. That one's pretty sad now, not faded by any turn in the before damage, and yeah, that people would say, some people would say that it is, is lucky, but uh, if you're just hit a little bit, like we just saw with that bazooka, you're bound to just do like a half half turn with your pick, so you're, uh, you're destined to uh, look in the wrong direction, which makes water damage even more viable. Maybe Castor thought of that. Anyway, that was still a uh, two kills back to back. Um, no real turn order messed up. And Castor makes quick ways, a quick haste for the uh, Para, getting him back up. 20 HP, and um, yeah. Doesn't really come as a surprise if you think about the uh, lineup and first turn advantage, but Caster seems to nail this one. And uh, ADB is unable to kind of get back at him. Still, we still got a couple of turns left. Just take one big slip from Caster to turn this back to a more balanced fight. Or one very good turn from ADB. Use the platform here to get a quicker drop down so you can easily get the bazooka shot off here. But that's very close, let's see. A bit of self damage there. But a, a body block, if that was intentional. So, yeah, at this point. You, yeah, Castor thought of it, and he just does a long... Ooh, and a good drop. Uh, yeah, going into that water would have definitely cost him, like, around 20 damage, and... Um, what else is he gonna do with that jetpack then? Deal 20 damage, and... This time he just gained the chance to go for a... Um, go for an extra hit with this jetpack drop, and that's the uh, cattle prod on top. So, safe damage, trying to avoid self-damage, uh, not going for the bazooka. He could have also went for the bazooka there, since the scout is very healthy, but maybe he just wants to keep the damage a bit more on the lower side for future turn script. Maybe he doesn't see the advantage in that, and that was a very good shrapnel. Not quite sure on the damage. Could have been a 70. Um, I don't think that pirate took huge amount like he was he has 49 now he, i think he did take 11 self damage so very good on caster here uh, making use of the shrapnels still believe yeah that should have been should have been a 70 and um now adb needs a double poison here a bit of an odd angle you kind of want to use that terrain to drop in later but the terrain really helps him out here um, since it is kind of aimed towards the second pick, pretty really good move there. Getting a double poison in to at least try to make some kind of comeback. Caster with a long range mortar. 30 is good overall, seeing the um, average damage in these turns. And yeah, one head jump plus a 40 would make this guy need to get rid of himself or get some healing away, but ADB kind of abandons that plan. Doesn't really get the uh, damage in now. Checks on the para. 97 is a lot. Still does a safe shot, 34 damage. And yeah. Since there's one less pig, um, the body block kits still work. Although, I don't think any of the other two guys are going to come in and save the um, 
the sapper from future attacks from the medic, so not really necessary. This is kind of already in the bag for um, for Castor, um, like we like I predicted a couple of turns ago. And now it's just down to the execution, to the uh, final moves of the of the game. Gets a body block in, plus a bit of a short shot for some extra water damage, maybe. Not quite, but we can see the HP of the Scout 70. Castor definitely took notice of that, so... It's just two mid-damage tur uh, mid turns, and this guy is paced as well. Yeah, still overall nothing really that, um, that ADB can do. That's a long range shot, didn't see any of those in preparation for this match, but nails it. So, gets this guy down to 50 in a, of course, notorious number when you're poisoned. Just a simple 40 will get you down. To return skip and... Castor doesn't want to get for... Oh, doesn't want to go for lowering his HP. That goes for a direct shrapnel and it looked very good. It, it was kind of weird that it didn't work out and ADB is having troubles with his head jumps right now. Just needs three on them on this guy with a bazooka on top. A precise bazooka. Cannot screw this one up. So maybe a flat angle. See, you don't have that much time. Oh, but he he knows he has time. He can, he can do it at a later stage. He can probably do it with the uh, scout as well. And that's a very nice shot. So far the highlight of today. You, I, I, that was surprising that the medic was even hit by that. But, um, yeah. ADB needs a couple more of those and he could turn this around. However, damage is still on Caster's side. And he seems to go with these safe bazookas a lot. Not trying to overshoot them, trying to deal zero damage. Playing it a bit more safe. And yeah, now it should be medic time, I guess. Unless you can get a kill on that guy. Although then the medic would come in and sweep on the other side. I think you want to get as much distance between this guy and the turn skippers from the future turns right now. And this might hit the barrier here. Not quite. But deals one extra damage to water. And yeah, now, now Custer is on his heels. Doesn't get the um, oh lowest damage turn. And this might be... A terrible mistake. Um, even though he can still deal damage in this turn, there's no way of healing, and there's no way of even intercepting anything of this. He could get rid of the power now, which is probably the best take, or lower the uh, scout to to 40. Or uh, miss his shot. That's, that really wasn't the turn to go. So, now ADB needs to think this through. He needs to remember the turn, uh, the turn order, of course, who skips first. And this way he could get rid of two picks instantly without, well, getting the enemy any turns. So he knows it's the para next, right? Gets in the shot. So, in the future, this will lead to ADB still having his turn. And uh, got rid of two picks. And what's left? It's the two HP medic, which will be probably head jump now. So, it's only down to that single lonely gunner on 60 HP. So, very prolific comeback from ADB right now. Really makes use of the turn skips. Caster kind of slept on getting himself down to lower HP and, of course, that turn with the Medic. And it's no shame angle lowering the angle, but ADB does it without it. 
Gets the kill on the medic. Turn skip on this guy. And guess who's next? It's the sapper on the island with the gunner. So that's a proper turnaround and no way for Custer to cash in on this victory. So yeah, GG's to ADB for um for just completing the comeback. Very good moves here. Very interesting moves, of course, from these veterans. Sets this up for a very interesting best of five. Ah, goes for the shrapnel, but as you can see, unreliable as ever. And Castor is just one sniper shot away from death. Well, unless he can lower that scout's HP, he's down to... He's still at 70, so he needs that hit. He seems to go for... Yeah, he does seem to go for the scout. He knows it. Kind of knows the positioning as well. Kept that in mind. And unlucky. Well. Kind of... Um, comedic. Castor standing in his own way with his blimps, but... Oh, this scout's, scout's getting a bit low, but... He could easily turn around on the outside of this map to get the uh, sniper shot in. And there you go, already has the line of sight. Just don't screw this shot up and you did it. Okay, ADB going in 1-0 and um, gets the first turn on the second map as well. And uh, let's check again. It will be Ice Flow. So see you guys there. Okay, we are back. Map 2 Ice Flow is coming up. ADB gets first turn. And we can see ADB going with the medic here. And the very defty arsenal gets the gunner on third. We'll see how that will play out. Usually he will probably go for one of the crates with the gunner, but also flamethrower could, uh, could prove very beneficial. Kessler also going with the medic in third, though. Haven't have seen quite a rise in that positioning in the uh, last matches. Let's see if it will pay out for him. And uh, as well, going for two, basically a mirrored lineup, am I right? Let me double check. That looks not mirrored. <laughs> Castor going with an additional sapper plus uh, ADB going with an additional para. So, yeah. Let's see who will get first turn. It will be ADB. Let me see if we need to rewind. Nope. Just. There we go. Let's see Castor spawns being very distributed to the edges of the map. So not even a Momar that's um, guaranteed, right? And um, there's a Sapper, there's a Gunner, and you don't have that much time to check. There's the Medic. You could even protect yourself from any potential breakups by going Behind that wall, no, going to the wall. Um, but doesn't go for that. Let's we'll see how that will play out. Maybe the power of. Oh, never mind. He's so far away. That's that's unlucky. <laughs> so no Momo breakup even possible here, due to that. And um, we can't really do anything else as well with the. Uh, Jetpack, so it would be a very good idea to keep this guy safe and sound until he gets his second turn. Can drop that jetpack and do a bazooks, but that. Oh, yeah. Ice maps. That's ice maps for you. Very unlucky, but it does happen. So, yeah. Uh, ADB would be wise to get a body block there. Maybe even some additional poison. Wee! 
Let's see how the TLT will work out. And it just shows you how important it is to not make any mistakes, especially on maps like these, where there's always high damage turns available for everybody, since there's so much water and uh, so many explosive crates as well. So even if you don't have that strong classes, but usually everybody picks the strong classes. And yeah, spawns are not not going in favor of uh, Caster here. Needs to nail this jump as well to not get poisoned. Let's see if we can pull it off. Very nice. And chooses his next target. Probably that guy over there going into the pile. Never mind. Goes for the para, huh? Quite sure about that one. He hits his own pig with a shrapnel as well. Yeah, I'm not quite sure what that move was supposed to bring out. He could have gone for a TNT if he would have hurried up uh, on the gunner, which would have even um, elevated the um, the body blocks. Although it is his turn next, so never mind that call it. Mm, wouldn't have paid out that beneficially for him. And now you can see Eddie B trying to get this guy into the minefield and just dips out of the one mine and doesn't even get poisoned. Yeah, a bit of a missed opportunity, but doesn't want doesn't want to get close, understandably, to get himself into the minefield. And yeah, oh that's uh that's it. Yeah, this guy's gonna die. There's no shot. He's not gonna die unless you do this very precise. Yeah, he's dead. And that turn is dead as well, since he's so close to the uh, pig. Missed, miss. Very big miss from uh, AD Beater. Getting a bit of mm, bit of an opportunity for Castor to get back at him. So, yeah, that kind of looks like a very prolific target. He will go into a place where he doesn't want to be. Maybe the minefield, maybe the poison water. There you go. Now it's this Paras turn. To turn it back into ADB's favor. very nice um, jetpacks but this will cause self damage on two of his picks possibly unless he goes for that target of course maybe nice shot let's see if he will bounce down no oh, he'll stay up doesn't get into any dangerous minefield or dangerous water just staying safe staying cool yeah, he could potentially, of course, get that um, power, but the the medic is not far. He will just heal, of course, and uh, Custer knows that. Gets this Zapper into a more safe spot there. And we see some additional water damage here. Very good turn overall. Gets this guy low, and when it's his turn, he will be even slower than he was before, so... Yeah. So let's see ADB's moves. The turn aura has been scrambled a bit, but could also still re-scramble, since there's so many potential kills available. Takes the poison away, good move. This guy's still healthy. However, a good TNT might still put him at the same outcome. Oh, and never mind about the MoMA breakup. This guy, since this guy is at Turn three, uh, Momo can't really be broken up unless Kirsten loses a lot of picks. So, yeah, not not a good point for um, Medica third. However, I do believe he was he had a plan coming in with this. Let's see, will the TNT work for Kirsten now? 
There's 46 damage and he needs to make a quick... Nice no, he's dead. Okay, never mind then. M might deal some extra damage to the gunner as well, let's see. Ah, two. Okay. Not too much. And what is this zapper up to? He has a say 50 on that building. But... Um, might choose another target. There's still the power in the trees from Castor. TNT might get him back into the poison water, but... This could also be very weird with the hitbox of the building. Maybe he does hit the other pig as well. Let's see. No. Only one squeal. Only one hit. Still safe 50 damage. And another lost turn for Caster. Okay, this guy is done for basically. He will probably look to self-detonate or... Doesn't even need to do that. He still could have two... Although head jumps, eh. I would get into a better position then. Not sure what lowering to 10 does to you. He goes for the self kill anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Um, goes for the extra explosive pellets variant. Not for the uh, push into the poison water. Let's see. That paid out very beneficially we saw a 41 there as well so a 50 a 20 a 41 and that's a kill on that uh, gunner i believe he was pr still pretty healthy so good job from adb maximizing damage there with the barrel and this might close the gate for custer here i don't see really an opportunity of comeback for him right now Maybe Cluster gets it. Oh, that's just unlucky now. He hit the barrel right behind the separate that executed the throw and took the damage for it. So while the pro well the green barrels still are very much useless, you can see the orange um, barrels doing their usual, usual carnage. Doing their usual self. And where the hell did that sapper go? Is he inside the stairs now? He did, he is. Okay. So gets the kill. This guy. But and the X what twenty. Yeah, A to B being very much on a roll right now. And still gets the uh, medic turn next, so he can paralyze that medic for sh for good. So everything going going as planned for him. You can see the TNT through the wall. Maybe get some extra damage here. Or breaks the game. Who knows? Nah, just a clean 50. So oh do you go for yeah sure, go for money, why not? Yeah. Um there's basically no way anymore for Custer to do anything. So just take the loss on this map and try to regain control on the next two maps. And we still have Dusty Ridge, Chill Hill and Bridge the Gap coming up. So we might be in for a tasty final. But yeah, this is just a cleanup job at this point. Also, not really going for the Maybe best move, but for the quickest cleanup moves. Oh, never mind. We let's have some fun with it. Positions. Oh no. Let's not have any wonky building hitboxes. Hit yourself. Okay, that worked out. Even some extra water damage. Very much appreciated, but yeah. You're gonna need a bunch of miracle clusters at this point. Tries to aim for the medic. And... Never mind then. Yeah guys, let's get this over with. Yeah, 
Yeah, ADB still collecting the arsenal. And only one more pick left for Custer. 70 HP. Zapper guy. Could go for some body blocks, right? Or just wants to hide in the stairs. Sure. Okay. So we're gonna play those games. Now, um, let's see some trivia knowledge from these guys about the stairs. Can you hit with the rifle through the stairs? Uh, can you uh, do your taxes through the stairs? I don't know. Can you hit a rocket launcher through the stairs, huh? Through the stairs from the inside? Okay. No, you can't. No, you cannot. Okay. Still not letting up. Going up with the uh, shrapnel, which could get rid of this upper. That's a clean 50. With some extra waters. Get some self damage on him as well, and yeah, this might finish it. This must finish it. Okay. Sets himself up as well to make sure this will be the end of it. And goodbye. And takes the crates down with him as well. Never mind. That's not enough damage. So, yeah. ADB taking the second victory uh, on the second map. We will go to Dusty Witch next with a very spicy lineup. See you guys there. Okay guys, welcome back. We are going to Dusty Ridge. Um, two match balls for ADB coming up. And uh, you can see the lineup for ADB going with a uh, Grenadier, two sappers and two Poison guys, so um, pretty explosive plus poison heavy lineup, but not as poison heavy as this. Um, I don't approve of this lineup, but it is pretty funny. So uh, <laughs> let's see what what Custer can get out of this. Um, yeah, that's 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 all I have to say for this. He he will go first as well, so we might have some. Um, you might have some advantage from this, but as far as I remember, I did a four scout lineup and it did not play out well. Uh, so yeah, basically all you can do here is poison and body block. I don't know. Getting the crates is a, a big thing as well. Yeah, he gets this, saw the guy on the left. And it's probably just going to peck his move it. Oh, never mind, he just keeps his distance. And yeah. This is a uh, mind game for ADB as well. He needs to make sure he remembers all the positionings here. Although at some point you will stumble upon across one of these pigs. It's not like they're invincible. And yeah, just goes for a clean cluster grenade. Good option. Oh, but this might this be an out of bounds? Never mind. We will never know it. So yeah, next turn. Get those health crates out of the way. Otherwise your poison game will fall on its face. Oh, the homing missile. The, um... Uh, not so feisty. 
coming apart to the guided missile. And yeah, well, here's the next poison. There's no medics as well, so um, no way for ADB to get rid of the poisoning. And if we're gonna see, oh, that's a uh, that's a very weird uh, thing with the uh, um, slippery tiles there, since they are very flat, although they're still slippery. Definitely need some testing around those. And it seems like ADB knows his... Oh, gets it just in time, mate. Took all the time from that counter. So still gets like at least a 40 here. Yeah, clean 40. Good enough. And it's this guy's turn as well, and that's... Well, that's a double poison setup for me. Not sure why he would go for that side, though. Uh huh. Oh, to get the Grenadier out of the way? Yeah, makes sense. But maybe you still want to profit off that double poison setup. But, yeah, it's a bit too late for that Grenadier focusing now. He will definitely get another turn. There's nothing you can do to avoid that. Uh, yeah, no way, that's... This thing is rolling up. And, oh, we go for an actual... Nah, he will choose the other direction. Plane 50 here. <laughs> there might be an out-of-bounds kill there. There's a bunch of slippery targets. Not sure where the uh, map border is designated. But... Clean 50. And a kill as well. That guy must have been very low, which, to be fair, doesn't make Eddie B's job easier. Um, since now, the body blocks are very much more efficient if Castro can get the, uh, the scouts out of the way from Eddie B. To be fair, he might get this guy down with three snipes, but... Still goes for the poison. Yeah. Quite sure about that, but... That will cost him dearly in the uh, the other turns. Since that Grenadier will definitely get another one now. Ooh, that's a nice line of view for a double poison. Let's see if the uh, environment plays fair game, and it does. So, ADB showing Castor, you don't need five pigs to poison everyone on the field. You just need some double ones. And, oh, that anti-P might help out hugely, but there's not enough time left to get that to the Grenadier. So, this still might help out. Castor in this case. Gets the last poison in, right? Oh, and that's a super NTP mine. Gets him down to 20. This is his last turn. To be fair, it's just simple now. Getting poison on yourself and this guy to finish the deal. Yeah, that uh, super NTP mine definitely helps out here. Bit of an equalizer, you could call it. So, not sure what's in those crates. Not really sure about that. But now would be a good time to put some focus on the grid in here to not get it, let him get another turn. It's Airburst! That's pretty good for that. Oh yeah, never mind with the uh, scout three shots comment since he did take that HP crate. 
it made it basically impossible. So... I... Do you want a body block? Are you sure about that? It doesn't really make sense since all of them are scouts, so... You won't really gain anything out of that. Unless, of course, you pick up another airburst, but... Those are not easy to come... To get hold of. There you go, another very good damage. Uh, cluster grenades. Further implying the uh, damage advantage. And yeah, now it's damage time for, with the scouts. Getting the body blocks in. And um, unless ADB can get a turn skip on a, of his own, that. Um, yeah, that Grenadier is sure to skip. Unless, of course, he would place a TNT here, but he goes for an NDP mine on this scout. Might get a um, super NTP of his own. So there's still that guy on the other side. He remembers that. And yeah, that's a pretty good cluster position. Are you sure about that? Okay, gets it in last second. Some self damage, although clean for. That did sound like a super NTP mine. But I guess we'll only know when we will see that guy's HP. Oh, hello. I'm not sure about that. <laughs> I didn't test this map enough to know about this skip. But it might work with a perfect jump. But running at that is not the option for that. I think positioning yourself at the very top of the tile with precise double input of the forward and square button would work. But running start is deemed to fail. See, so clean 30 on that guy. And, uh... Well... Oh, that grenadier did take some damage. It, did the scout die? Where do, where do these boots come from? Ah, it might be from the first scout, right? Well, anyway... Where's that scout been, then? I'm not quite sure where he is. He, he was right there with the NTP mine, and it's not this guy. So unless he really died off screen. Very clean 50 there. No out of bonds here. Yeah, he, he might have died. I only count three uh, scouts. That doesn't make any sense unless, you know, one of them died off screen. Maybe he instantly vaporized. That might also be an option. It could have been the um, guy that was hit by the Grenadier. It's hard to catch up with five scouts, you know, so... <laughs> you're not really sure which one of these is which. Gets a 40 on that guy, and... ADB pretty much known for hiding the scouts. HP shows it nonchalantly like a 32. Hit me with a grenade launcher and you got it, buddy. And yeah, the turn skips might come rolling now if Castor paid attention. And ADB seem to have paid attention as well. Let's see. That looks good. He has the animation and all. And that's a turn skip, which means the Grenadier will get a turn and the plan miserably backfired on Castor. Uh, another Grenadier turn will definitely nail this one in the coffin. Uh, making ADB a clean winner here with a 3-0, but we might go for the other maps. Almost definitely will go for the other maps. However, there's still... We, we, we called that other match too early, so... There might still be comic potential here. Not for this guy, though. He's... Oh my god, is he skipping as well? Yeah, let's check the HP. You would you would want to check the HP on that guy. And you definitely need a comeback plan for this. Well, that guy's very healthy, right? I just saw a glimpse of that. Might have been a 120 in the... It's a short shot, never mind. 
abandon all hope. The thing is over. Yeah, very, very healthy. Yeah, maybe Castor didn't check the HP of this guy since he just needs to assume that he will survive. He will not skip turn for a potential win of this map. Okay. ADB giving us some more gameplay of this weapon. Yeah. Not sure, even if you don't want it. Here it is. Still not dead, this guy. Ah, one more head jam would have been needed. That's unfortunate and fortunate at the same time for Castor. Uh, yeah. Oof. Yeah, what, do, what, what weapon do you go for here? Would you risk it with a grenade? And would you make it safe with a grenade launcher? I mean, it's already over, right? Let's call it as it is. It is over. The other guy still just needs to... Oh... The other scout is so low on HP, just needs a simple hit with the uh, sniper rifle or whatever. Or even the TNT, yeah. Although there might have been, these guys are bound to skip turns, so if you could have taken care of that other sapper, Castor might have gotten away with it. But not this time. Yeah, made the not crucial mistake, but it. You could see it was he was sure to um, wanting to get the get everybody poisoned, but would have been a better option to get rid of rid of the grenadier first. Then, in any way, um, ADB takes this win, 3-0, and yeah, let's see what happens after red three, right? We're back, and I already can tell, due to time constraints, uh, we are only playing this fourth map. Uh, sorry to say, but Bridge the Gap will fall flat, and we do not have time for that anymore. And, uh, well, we, we all know how last long maps go when it's already a bit of a... Uh, already over, when it's already decided. They tend to kind of be a drag, but... Well... This is the lineup for Chill Hill. Power of course first, with a medic on second. Let's see how that will play out. And uh, two powers here and a medic third. So overall, um, doable lineups. And yeah, let's see who will, if Castor will take you in, take away a victory point, or if this will be a clean domination from ADP. So far, I must say, the first match has been very much the uh, most interesting one with the comeback. All the other ones were um, very basic matches so far. But, yeah, we have a first turn. This, uh, this compute... Uh, hello? Yeah, this looks good. Alright, ADB being very swift here, takes the uh, artillery that could be, uh, could have been gotten without a turn skip, uh, uh, without a jetpack, but that would have been way too much of a walk. And instead uses the time to calm himself, focus, and that is actually reachable with the 100 pound shell, but doesn't, uh, 1000 pound shell, but doesn't go for it, instead does a very clean shot. Uh, not doing 60, but 60 is very hard, 46. Is very good for for this map first shot with the artillery and Castor probably looking to counter that right away maybe even a fire shell on the enemy artillery I would be fond of that but let's see what they will do yeah the classic let's see if he has the technique down lower his ankle a bit now oh, that's a very Hi. Yeah, there was way too much power for that one. Uh, you could tell he didn't really prepare this shot. 
Still, though, gets in like around 125 damage. So maybe only just one good flamethrower or a even mortar away. And it's medic time. Can't really find the other medic. Although he should know it's in the other corner, but goes for this close target since it's the farthest away and it's also the corner, so no way for him to traverse and we will he will get the turn skip instantly. Let's see, this guy, yeah, he will put his focus on that medic since he's right there. Could use one or maybe two jetpacks to hammer in extra damage. Which would make this guy easily killable by maybe just even a scout. Yeah, second jetpack is safe and even with the slips on this icy map, you will have enough time for a bazooka. And with this shot, he's even eligible for a future poison skip. Although we will get it turned away before that. And she does. He just saw that scout and pins him down. Or not. That's a very far walk, my friend. Uh, I I'm not sure if you can reach any of those crates. Yeah, not, not not really the best option here. Now we can simply just go... Oh, no. Okay, he gets it in the end. What a walk. Okay. Still, though, this guy and a sniper rifle, and he's done for. He will also get that uh, F-Rain Air Burst. Might even use that uh, instead of going for the um, for the uh, medic, since the sapper can uh, the para can also take care of him. Yeah, good choice. You can see the artillery only down to forty, and ah, uh, no, nah, that's not sure about this placement. You want to kind of get the corner of the artillery so you can hammer in two of these three shells that are dropping now. Now he's only gonna get one. Although that will still do big amount of damage, so while it's not a one-turn kill, it's uh, it's only one turn away from getting destroyed. So overall, good turn. Better than completely wasting it and uh, yeah, yeah. This is not a trank gas anymore. Just the self heal. Although the self heal, the, the healing items have been found very, has been seen to be very healthy. Uh, well, of course they are, but seem to be very good for competitive users. Get some weird TNT in there. This will break up the mole pa, but um, not sure if it will reach. It does reach a mine. And a second one. Yeah, very tough TNT there, and uh, still managed to pull it off. Although with that medic turn, he definitely put himself into a disadvantage, and geez, uh, well then. That was a bit uh, overconfident. Could have also have gone for just the bazooka, so even lowered the angle even more. And... Not sure. When these guys were picking gunners, I was sure they were gonna go for the high explosive, and now you see them go for it. Usually you would want that so you can deal even more with this class, if you're um, not that prolific with them. Not good that way with them. Yeah, this is a clean kill on that artillery now. Before he gets his next turn. Gets rid of it. Gets some self-damage in, though. And... Drops him right next to it, which is not good. Not good for Castor. This guy's gonna take a slide, I can already tell. But you would have wanted to do that before, and I guess. Oh. Oh, seems like he has other plans in mind. It won't kill, leaves him at 7 HP. 
And that will skip your turn, right? Never mind. Uh, but it skips your turn anyway, since you don't have enough time left. And now your jetpacks are gone. Uh, not quite sure if that was the best move, but it did work out in destroying the artillery, so good on him. And more jetpacks for this guy. Probably wants to drop him in that minefield as well. And he lines him up for it. Let's see. Big slides coming in. And there you go. Let's see how much of this turn will be left for him. That's a kill. And boom. Gets the bazooka off as well. And this looks very good. Oh, wow, what a shot. And goodbye to him as well. A double kill from Caster. Getting rid of a very healthy pig. Plus the medic. And this does put him into a lead, I would say. Although this guy surely has his days numbered. Or not. Huh, I was, I was still assuming he would go for that guy, but... Gets the jetpack on this guy. Not sure if you want to position yourself here, but does it anyway. Let's see the bazooks. That needs to be very precise. Power looks good for it. Very nice. You guys have been very good with bazookas so far. So this guy miraculously is still alive. Although, yeah, it's understandable due to the amount of Paras that have perished. Yeah, that guy's gonna drop. Nobody block. Uh, he kind of would have needed to do the other direction, but maybe he didn't want the body block. So, uh, yeah. And a full HP sapper still on service with a selfie as well. So, this guy's not gonna go down anyway soon. Gets a clean 50 shrapnel on that gunner. And that will look, guy will look to retaliate immediately. Yeah, Amy is on the downside now. He might want to get that HP crate. Or not. Maybe focus on this guy now. Not really sure who to focus on. He gets the body block, which makes sense. This guy just took his turn. So, no big explosions on this gunner. Although there are still other targets left. Very nice uh, uh, mortar here. Clean 50. Could have even gone for a 70. That was very head on. Yeah, and more high explosives for Castor. Gets the healing item. And yeah, you can pretty much call it, call it at that. It's not much that ADB can do to recover from this. I am not sure why they are so hell-bent on getting up here with the uh, uh, Pyrus, but it worked out for Caster, so... Let's see. 55 gets him into the sliding position, some camera adjustments, and... There's a... Oh, that's a double mine! That was a gigantic jump, and... Uh, yeah, leaves him at 43. Very good damage. So, yeah, you might want to get rid of that medic. You could even go up there with a skip. It's not that hard. Pretty simple, either, actually. Uh, although that gunner is a, is a bigger threat than it might seem, since, well, he's a gunner. With all those high explosive grenades, and I believe he has jetpacks left as well. He kind of wants to navigate him towards the minefield on the left. And... Uh, that's kind of work. Ah, but he slides off far more to the right. Yeah, it's not easy getting somebody down there. Oh my god. <laughs> Look at this slide. That might have been the longest non bucket slide. Oh my god. Okay. So, what a bunching up here. Although, Castro's pig is still very healthy, and this guy. It's probably gonna get it. Uh, does Castor know this is not a airstrike anymore? It seems 
he doesn't know. Otherwise, I mean, it doesn't really matter if he positions himself here with that big, since that guy's gonna die anyway in one turn. So no mines, no mines needed for that. And here comes the airburst. So good tool to retaliate to make sure that uh, that medic is gonna die. But you have to scout rifle as well, so might as well use that. Yeah, there you go. Doesn't take a slide. This will do self damage due to corpse explosion. Never mind. Wasn't in range. Yeah, that 50 heal <laughs> doesn't really come into play here. He's gonna get rid of that guy in the middle, probably. Uh, it's the best reach. Has the best reach for that. Will he actually go for the scout? Okay. Gonna need a good shrapnel for that. Gets the sword. Let's see, might adjust the angle. Maybe he already did that. And it looks very good. Might not be a full 50, but still gets the explosion plus shrapnel. So what's the plan now? To be fair, the HP has kind of evened up a bit. Although I still see Custer in the advantage here with the two very healthy pigs. And yeah, this guy's a clean 50, uh, 40. Aha. Uh -huh. Are you sure about that? Might work. But he does need two mines to die and stays alive in the minefield and since this is the power he will find his way out definitely another missed opportunity from ADB there even though it was still he had to rely on moves where he needs where he does big amounts of damage and going for the weakest target that might not have been the best option aha gets the 60 in there Good damage, and there he is dead. And this guy is dead, and it's only the scout left. Well then, let's see those poison plays. Big navigations around the map, and no, this is ain't this ain't it, man. This this really ain't it. Um, no matter who's next, you can just simply get him down there. Although that might fail, we have seen the uh, fire shell from the artillery uh, work work its way through one of the minefields. It might be the one down that slope. And because we're having a bit of trouble navigating here. And now, opts for the jetpack. At that point, just don't screw up this turn. <laughs> You're looking good, and this looks like a very nice shot. Gets a 35 in there and makes him... Uh, it also saves this guy a bit. Never mind. Oh, he does. That slide is already cleaned up. So... Who is next? Airburst is next. Yeah, but you know what? Never mind. It's it's there's nothing to be done here. Like Custer really has his clean in the back. There's still a 150 sapper with a self peel on the other side of the map. There's nothing that can be done at this point. Yeah, and it. That's basically the, um, that move was the essence of the current mood. It's over. Well, Custer's still going for some trickery throw here. Well, that might backfire. Don't want to play with fire like that. Okay. That's a three on the scout, and this guy's dead? Maybe? 
Okay, that, that para is dead, at least. He gets the uh, free turn skip here, basically. Or you want to keep him alive. That's also another option, yeah. I kind of need to bank on that, that this guy will walk into mine. And getting him down to that slide would be a very good option. Doesn't quite see it, goes for damage. That could actually be a comeback. He made the right play in terms of pushing the pig next to the... Yeah, but this is a fine walk. We saw the guy slide down here twice already. Yeah, there you go. Just do the 40, and it's over. In this way, Castor secures himself. Oh, now you're gonna use the slope. Okay, guys. Castor secures is himself a point. And no, that, that minefield is very much still active, as you can see. Finishing off this match with a 3 1, the score will probably never recreate. Nope. End the video, we actually changed our minds. We want to play Bridge the Gap. Ah, oh, okay, so we're gonna go to Bridge the Gap. Okay, never mind, guys. Uh, Let's go. Yeah, changing the score and see you there. Okay, as you just heard, change of plans. We're going to map five, Bridge the Gap. And uh, here you can see a pretty classical lineup with the Medic first that will probably hide behind one of the boxes. And you can also see on this lineup from Castor, going with a very obscure one. We haven't seen that much. Yeah, Grenadier at last, maybe looking forward to getting a kill on a guy that could potentially slip into the uh, bottom of the map. But, yeah. So... So you will get first turn this. And it will be ADB. So yeah, we know the setup for this. Get the motor right behind the box and do your thing. And does he collect another mortar? It might make sense. He has chosen two gunners and a para, which I already said. The last box will be for the uh, scout left, I believe. And I'm not sure. Oh, yeah, he changes the angle. Doesn't go for the safe and sound shot. You can see that uh, limp going in there and a very nice shot. 44 damage plus nothing. Okay. Yeah, that a uh, uh, that grenade is really put out there. Doesn't help that he gets uh, the last turn. And yeah, Caster as well picking up two mortars. And that's the usual hiding position. Full power. That's not full power. He changed. Oh, oh no. That's never going to reach. That is way too short. Well, Custer seems to not be accustomed with the um, motor ranges on this. There are some easy setups uh, for well-known places. This wasn't one of them. And the um, and, uh, the gunner now from ADB seems a bit confused who to hit now. Oh, straight shot bazooka, full power, might work. A bit high, no, 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 that's too low power. He must have, he needed to do full power for that one. And, okay, Caster going in for the steal on the enemy side, not sure though why maybe he's just uncomfortable with doing these long range shots it didn't pan out well for him in the first turn as you could see 
So getting an Ebers tier might be easier for him. Now that's too high of a power, but again, of course, let this guy blow up beforehand. Still does nice amounts of damage. But yeah, here comes the back. <laughs> this guy is an easy target. Easy pickings now. Just go wrap it for the box. Change the angle a bit. Well, that's maybe even a bit too much. You might want to back off that a bit. Although I believe it's still good enough. Oh yeah, very much good enough. Gets an extra seven as well. And slide. But he will get back on track here. Oh yeah, that's probably why you don't want to invade. You give the opponent just such an easy opportunity for big damage. And that's too far. Gets the box at least. Oh yeah, this could... Take a lot of time up the clock if he goes for a jetpack here. And he knows that, which is why he would go for an off map sort of jetpack. And another shot here to possibly get him into poison skip range. Yeah. Just do a normal shot then. Looks good. Maybe he gets him down as well. Oh, he stays up here. But that is just one point in the way. And Castor commits stealing raids. Gets the uh, jetpack hit as well at full 20. And you might want to... Yeah, exactly. Gets an extra 20 damage. Let's see what the Ebers can do for him. Can sadly hit the uh, medic there, since he's just way too uh, short. And gets a 55 with an Everest. Puts this guy down to we don't know what, but it was 240s and a 55, so 95 damage must have put him down to 45. Yeah, use the cover here wisely. Covers haven't been used so far from the guys, and he really made a point there, keeping keeping on moving to not show his HP. Though it's pretty easy to calculate, and I don't think Custer will have problems with calculating that one. Yeah, he knows the 60 would be enough if that reaches. I am not sure we really see this. It does work, and he gets his own para to avoid the turn skip. Very good move here. Keeps the match interesting and close. So, what about healing, huh? That uh, guy is too far away for that. And what? Yeah. Okay, yeah, he sees the grenadier now. Again, that might be a close to pull power move yeah oh, I, would, I would say that looks good a bit too far but yeah too far not nevertheless sadly just a, sing a simple hit would have gotten him down but it's hard to judge with all these height differences and such so I play there so yeah let's see this one this looks like a good full power shot That works, and might hit the other one as well with the extra pellet. It does, it does. It do, it do. Yeah, you can see the health bar on top still being very... down the middle. Hmm. Did he actually go for the paranormal? 
Okay. Looks good power-wise. But that barricade is doing its job. Now we can see the... Oh, no, that's not the corner. Yeah, you can see a bit of rust on Custer's... Uh, on Custer's uh, gameplay. But still, pulling off good moves. Like this one. Gets a 34. Puts him down into the bottom of the pit. And goodbye, Barricade. So, pretty much a must-hit now. For ADB to kind of get that grenade out now, since that gunner down there will be the next target for sure. So, do your best, I guess. Let's see. Might be a bit short. Yeah, but is it enough? He gets another hit in, and that's enough to push him down there. 35 damage still. Good enough damage. And oh boy, here he comes. The onslaught on the uh, medic begins. And Custer taking a sweet time though. Do want these moves to work, and that definitely did not work. There's little time left to. Especially with the sliding going on on this map. But gets stuck in the fence, so... Not focusing on medic as well. And a short shot. No, that was... a big, big missed opportunity for from Castor here. He could have put so much more damage into that medic. There we see ADB going for the kill. Two jetpacks and a head jump should be enough and will net you another opportunity to do damage though you're in a very tight time oh never mind he keeps his jetpacks for later use which is fine as well the bazooka on the last second probably would have been would have been too chaotic for him but that guy's only down to 33 hp so not sure if he will get the opportunity to use that, those two jetpacks. So another full power shot. It's a bit too... Oh. Okay. Gets a 20 mirac miraculously. Um, that somehow was the only pellet that didn't c collide with the wall. And... Uh, yeah. Now the medic on the hunt for the jetpack. He gets on the other side as well. Okay. This so will probably go for a trank here, but... You gotta pay attention to the uh, left pigs. He might get his turn back before... If this guy is really next... Okay, never mind then. And good on the medic. He will keep this body block for at least one full wave, unless something happens or um, or uh, Castor decides to break it up. And that really is not the corner. It's the other one. It. Not sure if that could even work. Maybe may even work on that one, but other one definitely is easier and more reliable. Yeah, and that's a good choice of target. And very creative, very, um, very good shot there from Custer, getting two jetpacks out of the game early. Hmm. And this looks like a great opportunity for ADB to push down that gunner as well. So, go, even goes for the rotor grenade, which is the uh, safest option here. Easily take the distance, 
Just to 40, uh, 30, but um, still. The push was the important part here. Some big damage coming up with the airburst. This para has kind of taken over the side of the map. And those are two extra hits. Very good damage. Yeah, if you see the health bar and calculate in that 50 damage or around 50 damage we just saw. Damage wise, it's pretty much still very close. Although that medic could be a late. Late game um, crush on the game. So, technically, ADB looks to be in the advantage here and repaying the favor with this airburst. And uh, wait, did I just saw that he just went down to collect the jetpack to use it to get back up? So, just to kind of steal the crate, which is okay. This is the problem that Caster has on its on his hands now. The uh, medic. And since it's a three on three, he could still go for the body block here. Which he does, he does. There's no harm in that. And the turns are also still not that synchronized, so a loss of that. Body block is not very much, not very, very, like, likely to happen. Yeah. Gets himself up here for a mortar, let's see. Bit too far. Gets no damage on that one. And, yeah. ADB will gladly take this last shot to make even more leadway. Not only technically with the medic, but also in terms of health points. And, oh, okay. Now just rubbing it in. Not even going for that. Oh, he does go for the jetpack Everest. But yeah, this looks like a close to full power. Uh, that's not. Nah, that's a bit too less. And we saw that uh, airship. Still gets 26 damage. And oh no, are you really gonna go for that headshot? <laughs> I think that would be the last headshot he's gonna do. Uh, or unless he goes for it on this side, which is, yeah, the height difference is not doing him any favors here. Maybe he'd be able to get him down in one one shot. Down into the never mind then. Gets him down to kill rage though. Yeah. And this is as close range mortar as it gets. Plus a bit of a height difference, but maybe he seems to have that in mind. Gets a 41. Leaves him at 6 HP. Okay. There's the turn skip. Fuck it, he could even go for another one at this point. And I'm not even sure. Does this that para really? Uh, is it a para or is it gonna? Gunner. Okay, it's 14. Another train shot coming up. Solidifying. The strategic lead. Ah, uh -huh. that's a miss. Oh, never mind. Just got the hitbox there. Might have been that sort of invisible last frame that affects the uh, shot um, direction. Yeah, but Caster are not letting up with a closed range motor of himself but uh, this is too far as well not his motor uh, they 
so to speak. Uh, yeah, sure, good. <laughs> Go ahead, skip a turn. Does he just want to get out there? It makes sense. Get on to the other side. Have your medic out here. Yeah, but don't lose the turn by crashing into the ground. Makes, makes sure that's not gonna happen. Yeah. What uh, what's happening? Are you sure you want to hit that 6 HP guy? I mean, sure, that sapper will skip right. Right. But this guy now has nothing to do. <laughs> I don't know. Uh, seems like an odd choice, but... Now... The pigs of Castor are not that unhealthy. 90 and 110. You, you still will take some turns to beat that down. This guy's on 32. You can see the Ordolian 120 and that gunner is full health on the other side. So it's two semi-healthy pigs against two very healthy and one not so healthy one. But that 23 knocking him down. Well, uh, that's bad positioning. Uh, for him now. It's it's just nothing he can do to get out of this. There's no jetpacks coming in anymore. And yeah, it's up for a for EB to play this like he wants to. Are you sure that's gonna reach? It might. And it also will roll up if that's not the case. There you go. Good and safe kill from Custer here. Further cementing the end game. So of course he wants to get rid of that medic first. ADB could make use of that by hiding behind these barricades. And he does, he does. Those are not easy hits. Let's see how it will go. Looks good for me. It's very good. Or at least some damage. Oh! I rarely see that. Uh, the extra pellets jumping up, destroying the bridge. It was a sight to behold. Okay. The sapper does have this sort of a... He's not short of a mortars, but it seems like... Um, Kasser said enough of him? Nah, he's, he's, he's again going for it. Close range mortar, he can kind of judge the power of the last shot. This looks better now. Ah, but the barricade doing its job. However, no more barricade. Clean 20 here. Would need three moves at least to kind of get rid of this guy, so not that big of a loss with that damage. You can get him with a clean 50 next. Another 50 after that. Although that might not happen due to the uh, body blocking that will go on if he does drop down there. So it's even better for him to keep him up there. But that hit is just... Whew, that's a kill, right? Oh no, he's left with, what, 1 HP? Oh, never mind, it's the other guy. It's the healthy gunner. And let's see. Kind of knows the distance. Kind of the same one he chose last time. And this will definitely keep him up at 60 HP. Never mind, 53. So, yeah, why not go for the body block at that point? Further increase your chances. Nah, just goes for a clean mortar. He did saw the power, so... Yeah... Oh no, that's... Uh, that's too far. That looks too far. He might get some damage here. Yeah, 17. That was an extra 7, yeah. And bridge pieces falling down. 
So yeah, go ahead. Oh, have some. Um, do we need to do some rewinding? I guess. It was the sign. Okay, there we go. We might have some big connection issues at that point. And a stoppage. Yeah, we're going to cut this out. So see you guys later. And we are back. So what's on the table now? When you finish up that medic? A very good motor could do this. You would need a 50 or a 40 something with an extra oomph to it. With the extra chest, and that looks like a good setup for that. However, he does not slide down enough, so he's not at a 12. Yeah, and at that point, why not just go in, go for the kill? Very nice shot. Okay, never mind then. Maybe he doesn't need that. Gets a good, very nice shot with a default angle there. Very hard to do. Uh, but Castro is looking forward to getting this down to a oh, roll a grenade shenanigans. Oh. Just the amount of damage he needed. And gets the enemy down to at least one, to at least his last pick. And this move will finish it for a 4 1 for ADB. So, pretty dominant, pretty uh, good in his um, uh, moves, not making any big mistakes. There you go. And Castor, you could see he was a bit rusty, so no shame in losing 4-1 here. And um, yeah, overall, very entertaining match between two veterans. And uh, a match we couldn't see in last year's Pro League, so yeah. Good to see them have a play here with these interesting maps as well. And that will close it up for today. A 4-1 to ADB, adding another victory to the Italians. So, yeah, let's see who will play next, guys. And uh, thanks to you, everybody, so much for watching. Take care. To the next one. Bye-bye.